Hello everyone in the YouTube world, it's the Spirit Room 152. Okay, so it's about 2 o'clock in the morning. Um, I am in Las Vegas. Yay! Um, let's see, this is day two of my trip here. I got one or two more days to go. Um, let's see. Um, basically, my parents mostly came here to take care of some business um my parents and I are moving out of Maryland in July 2015 and after seeing because seeing where the area we're gonna be living because we're gonna be living in the Las Vegas um, Henderson area July 2015 cannot come fast enough okay it literally cannot come fast enough like after seeing everything and you know everything that I'm gonna be surrounded with like being four hours away from Los Angeles I just I, I want it to hurry up really fast um because by the time we move to Nevada I'm gonna have my driver's license I'm gonna um, I'm going to inherit my mom's uh, white Honda Accord, 2013 Honda Accord. Um, I will most likely be going to the College of Southern Nevada for music to continue my education in music production and sound engineering. Um, and hopefully I'll be working again by then. Um, it's just, but it's going to be... I know it's going to be my first few weeks or maybe first couple of months are going to be difficult in moving here because I'll be moving away from everything I know back in Maryland. Um, the thing is, this move to Nevada will mark the first time I have ever moved. Okay, Ever since I was a baby, <clears throat> ever since my parents took me home from the hospital, um, I've been living in the same house. But right now, it's like, it's like I cannot, like... July 2015 cannot come fast enough. Um, let's see. I've been listening to a song. Actually, there's a song I've been listening to called Sunset Cigarette by Michelle Branch. Um, it's, it's a, um, the song was leaked. Um, it was originally unreleased. Now it got leaked and I was like, and when I found out about it, I actually downloaded it, put on put it on my phone and I remember like my parents and I were driving around like the mountainous areas and the, just listening to Sunset Cigarette it's like for God's sake I just like I just want to get out of Maryland already because it's like here out in the west everything is just more relaxed and just more it's more relaxed here, every, like, n not, like, over in the East Coast, like, people are really anal, and I'm just getting sick of it. Like, I, I come here, it's like, you can, like, I walk around, like, when I walk, like, I'll, like, here's the difference between Maryland and Nevada, okay? In Maryland, if I like, if I'm listening to my headphones and I'm and like whatever song is playing through my headphones and I'm singing it out loud, like it could be something, like something totally appropriate, and people will look at me like I'm crazy. Like I'll be like, "Tell me you love me like a sunset cigarette." Like I'll be doing that. Like in Maryland, if I do that, people will stare at me, look at me like I'm crazy. Well, but here in Nevada, I do that. People don't bat an eyelash at me. Like, to me, life is a constantly, is like a, is like a constantly moving. Actually, life, to me, life is like a music video that never stops filming. Like, your life is filled so with, with so many adventures, and honestly, like I've said for the, um, for the millionth time, I, July 2015 cannot come fast enough. Literally, when I move out here, I don't have to worry about mowing the lawn, I don't have to worry about shoveling snow, it's like, 
I can't wait for I can't wait to leave. Like I just I want to get out of Maryland. Hey, I'm sick of the snow. I'm I'll miss the thunder. I'll miss the summertime thunderstorms though, but that's the only thing I'll Well, there's a lot of stuff I'll miss, but the snow and the cold are two things I will not miss. Um the bright side of move there's like one thing about Nevada because I'm moving to Vegas, I'll be about, I'm moving here to Vegas, I'll be about four hours away from Los Angeles. Um, and for me, actually no, depending on traffic, well, 265, um, 265 miles from Los Angeles, depending on which area I stay in of Vegas, which area of Vegas I stay in. Um, and I remember, and at Warp Tour last week, I remember telling Josh Montgomery that from the Somerset that I am, that I'm moving to Nevada next year. And I was excited because I'll finally get to understand slash experience chain reaction in Anaheim, which is awesome. I get to, because for me, like, also moving to Vegas means getting to see the Somerset in California. Um, you know, earlier today I was talking to the lady who was helping my parents like cut a deal on a house next like looking at houses cuz we're going to be like I said we'd be moving here next year. She told me like I should fly to California. Well, like from Vegas, well it's not going to work. Well, for me, it's not going to, it probably wouldn't work out because one, I carry a pocket knife and pepper spray with me all the time for protection. Um, let's see, plane rides, just kind of like, I was like a few days ago, like on the flight from Philadelphia, see my parents and I drove up to Philadelphia to catch a plane to Vegas. Um... Literally, my, like, I'm pretty sure I went deaf during the flight, so that's another reason why I can't stand airplanes. Um, but I just rather drive, because it's like, I was like, what if I do multiple shows on a single tour? That's one thing. And speaking of which, like, that's one thing I'm looking forward to, like, moving to Nevada. Because like I'll have my license, I'll I'll have inherited my mom's car, which has killed, which has which is well ending up well inheriting my mom's um car is a really really great thing for me because of the gas mileage and the fuel range, so I won't be spending as much money on gas. But I have figured out that when if when I do make those trips to see the Somerset, because I'm mostly, because if I see them on like a single tour, the dates I would, the two, like the cities I would most likely go to are Los Angeles and Anaheim. And basically anywhere in the Southern California region. Um, I, I don't think I'll be able to do Phoenix or any places in Arizona because the thing is, Los Angeles is actually shorter drive than Arizona. And I was in another thing I hope to do while living in Nevada. I have a friend. Her name is Caroline Montoni. She's from Sao Paulo, Brazil, and she, and she's hope and she and I are hoping to meet up one day. Like maybe she could like flying out to the US and taking a road trip to see the Somerset in California if they're on tour but when she um, by the time she comes to visit me like we would just hop in my car hop in the car go see the Somerset go back to Vegas and all that fun stuff what else But yeah, like, back to the part about, like, people being really anal. Like, 
where I'm from, like, the thing is, where I live, I, I'm sorry, but I fit in more in Nevada, like, out here in the West than I do in Maryland. It's sad, but true. Like, I would, like, for me, like, I would rather live in Vegas or Los Angeles than live out here in the West than in Maryland, because people are so anal over there. It's like, I, I love Maryland. It'll always have a special place in my heart, but it's just for me. You go, like, for example, like, I cut, like, if you, like, I don't know, it's just for me, like, I love Maryland, I'll live, like, I'll still, like, but I just, to me, it's like, I can, like, being out here, it makes Maryland look really anal. Okay, let me tell you something. Drugstores in Vegas, like, are permitted, like, drugstores in Nevada are permitted to sell alcohol. Well, from what I've seen in Vegas, I don't know if it goes for the whole state, but I've seen, like, I went into CVS Pharmacy with my parents and, like, to pick up some stuff, like, cough, like, cough syrup, because I've been coughing a lot. Um, and, like, I noticed they had, like, Jack Daniels. They had Jack Daniels on the shelves. Um, and... What else have I noticed about Vegas? They're really picky about carding people. Like, literally, about an hour into being at Caesar's Palace, um, I, I almost got thrown out of the casino because a security guard misread my ID. Because I have a Maryland learner's permit, and obviously, um, state issued permits, ID, learners permits, IDs, driver's licenses, they're all formatted differently. And because I have a Maryland license, I, yeah, that was like a huge thing. Like, I remember, like, the security guard came up to me, he's like, I'm sorry. It's like, excuse me, ma'am, I hate, I hate to bother you, but can I please see your ID? You look really, you look so young. I was like, okay. Cool. I mean, like, I don't, like, if showing ID to security puts their mind at ease, I'll do it. But if you're gonna, like, sit there and, like, I don't know, because, like, and then later on, because, because he misread my ID, he almost, I almost got kicked out of the casino. Because he thought I was under 21. I was like, I was like, what are you, ta I was like, dude, what are you talking about? My data, check my date of birth again, okay? It should say November 10th, 1992, okay? And then today's July 20, today's July 28th, 2014. I'm, I should be very much into 21 by then, by now. And he rechecked my ID and he was like, and he corrected his mistake apologized and then left me alone and then so and then once I was done with the at the slot machine I was sitting at I went to the security office and got a wristband um, if you're um, if you're 21 and over and you look exceedingly young to the point where you're constantly getting carded like you can go like go like you can go into like like if you're at a casino like it's like Luxor, Excalibur, uh, Mandalay Bay, basically any casino, um, you can go, you can go to the security office and ask for a wristband that, and basically it prevents secure, if, um, when you have this, um, it only applies to the, to the casino that where it was issued like mine said Caesar's Palace it's only valid at Caesar's Palace um which is where I'm staying and it basically and if they and if security sees that you have it on they act they cannot card you um 
And actually, speaking of my age, you know it's so funny. Um, I was in a so I hopped in a cab from Caesars to Excalibur, and the cab driver, who was a lady, she's like, um, "I'm sorry to bother you, but I was wondering, how old are you? You look like you're between 13 and 14 years old." I was like, um, "I'm 21," and she was so shocked. It's like. Really? You don't look like you're 21. Uh, I'm 21 years old. I can guarantee you that. That's what it says on every legal document they have on me. It says, it shows that I, my date of birth, it shows that I'm 21 years old. Like, literally, that lady broke a previous record, like, like, let's be real. Do I really look like I'm 13 years old? <sighs> Like, let's be real here. If I was 13 years old, like, my parents wouldn't have, would not have, would not be giving me carte blanche to ride or to go, to go around Vegas the way I did. Like, I went from Caesars to Hard Rock Hotel to New York, New York, to Coca-Cola World, to Guitar Center, back to Caesars. Um, to Caesars. And then I went somewhere else, um, to Caesars, um, oh, and then I went to Luxor, and then I went to Luxor, and then, no. Excalibur, then I walked over to Luxor, then I took a cab back to Caesars by the end of it. And so I basically took eight different cabs. And, ow, sorry, oh my god, ow. I got cramps in my leg, I'm sitting cross-legged for this. See, normally when I do my videos, I have my iPad propped up on a stack of magazines, but since I'm not in my bedroom... I'm doing it from my phone. Let's see. And what else? Oh! Well, at, um, while I was at Coca-Cola World, I met the Coca-Cola polar bear and took some pretty epic Coca-Cola prom pictures with him. Well, they kind of look like that because of how we're posed. Oh, and there's this one pic- and in one picture, he's actually biting my head. True story. Like, this was, it was the second picture that was taken. Like, I felt something on the top of my head, and my jaw is just wide open. I was like, <sighs> like that. And I had a Coke, and I had this huge Coke bottle in my hand. Um, let me show you. So, this is the Coke bottle I had. It, this is about a 44 ounce bottle and I had that in my hand um, and then had it in my hand and like so it's because obviously Coca-Cola world the polar bear you're gonna want to be holding coke the soda that is um, let's see and, like, when the picture was being taken, the one where he's biting my head, I did not know if it was his paw. Like, I don't know if he put one of his paws on my head or if he was biting my head. The light, like, when I was like, I'm sorry, did he just bite my head? She was, she was like, maybe. Oh, for God's sake. Then I took one more picture with him and... Got a, and got a hug from the polar bear, which, for the record, is like being... Hugging the Coca-Cola polar bear is like being squeezed to death. It's like... It's like being squeezed to death. Like, but... Oh, God. If there was something... Basically, if there was such a thing as attempted murder by you... Um... With fluffy furry something or other, the polar bear would totally end up with that charge. Um, 
But yeah, also, I went to M&M World. I took a picture with Miss Green. She was fucking awesome. And then Hershey Chocolate World, I got a picture with the, with the uh, Hershey Chocolate Bar. Okay, so... What I mean by that is, okay, so they have these walk-around characters, they have these anthropomorphic, anthropomorphic versions, anthropomorphic, anthropomorphic, I can't remember, um, they have those versions of the candy bars, so basically it was a Hershey bar with a face, taking pictures, and yeah, and it's just... Well, if you look back at the pictures, like the one, like I have with the Coca-Cola polar bear, let me show you. Okay, so... I'm gonna show you. So, I'm not sure how well you can see that. Okay, yeah, so... These are my pictures with the polar bear. And that is the one where he's biting my head. And I actually paid thirty-two forty for these pictures, um, and basically the way it comes, it looks like a it looks like a vinyl record, like a sleeve for a vinyl record, which I think is awesome. And but Coca Cola World was really awesome. The polar bear is um, the Coca Cola polar bear is seven feet tall. Like, I'm five foot seven, and I look really shrimpy next to him. I mean, come on. Like, I, like, I look so shrimpy, though. I look really, really shrimpy. Excuse my head, I'm just checking to see that I'm at the right camera angle. Um, I'd show you pictures of the Hershey bar. Wait a minute, let's see. Oh, wait, no, I can't. But, it was fucking awesome. Um. Um, and let's see, and if, let's see, it's 2.19 right now. I am hoping to go to In-N-Out Burger today. Finally get to understand it. Yay! Get to eat it finally, because... I hear like the main and the summer set talking about how awesome In and Out is, and it's like, for God's sake, let me have In and Out. Just let me eat it just this once. So I'll be doing that today, hopefully. I gotta take a cab there and chow down, take a cab back, and but it'll be worth it though, as I finally get to understand In and Out. We. Um, this video may come up as upside down because I'm actually laying on the bed and my phone is like flipping. But it'll be fucking awesome. So that's it for now. Okay. Bye.